It's possible to have a character that has different textures to talk using Source's facial flexes. The trick is a bit hacky, but it does get the job done. In this video, I will give Anka the ability to move her eyes around, let her blink, have her open her mouth, and even widen her eyes when she's puked on by a boomer. Now as I was making this, I made the mistake of making her facials before her eyes. Don't do that. Do her eyes first. I'll show why later. I'll first select her face mesh in edit mode and duplicate it. I'm going to separate it as its own mod. That way I'll have a backup if anything goes wrong. After that I'm going to select the knife tool, and I'm going to trace around Anka's eye. You'll notice that my little selection likes to stick to the model's edges. I can just hold shift to stop the sticking. Once I've made my trace and connected the last cut to the first one, I'll press enter to apply it. I'll then select my selection tool, pick faces, and select the new faces in the eye. Next I'll make a new material. Since this is my left eyeball, I'll name it so. After that, I'll just click the assign button, and now Erica has a left eye. I'll need to repeat the cutting with her right eye. Oh, the shortcut key for the knife is K. Once I'm done, I'll delete the old face mesh and place in the new one that has the eyes. Try to ignore the hidden closed eyes behind the face, as I did the facials first, which you shouldn't do. Not yet. Because Anka's eyes widen, that forces me to make another face instead of just using the one I just made, as not making a new one will create clipping issues. Basically, we're going to have two faces for Anka. The steps for making the new eyes are the same as before. Trace, cut, apply. The widened eyes will have different materials. They do not get assigned to the first eyeball materials. Yes, we're having four eyeball materials. Once it's finished, I'll merge it with the main model just like before. Currently, there's clipping issues as you can see, but I'll make it where the shocked face and eyes are invisible in-game. You can use just a simple alpha texture to hide it. Also, I'll need to select all the new eyes I've made and assign them to the head bone. When you cut a model, most of the time the new polygons won't be rigged to the model, and you'll have to assign them yourself. Since I'm giving Anka eye tracking, I'll need to create a custom iris texture. A simple circle will suffice. Make sure that clamp S and clamp T are checked when you're making a VTF file. This will prevent the iris from tiling, or, you know, becoming a fly's eye. In the QC file, I'll need to give her four eyeballs. The main eyes and the puked eyes are all separate, but the materials for the widened eyes will be using invisible textures for now. Now this is where you should test your model by compiling, but before I go on to compiling myself, since I made the facials first, I'll now go over adding the facials. I'll duplicate Anka's mouth and pull it out, just so I can see the mesh. I'll add a new material and assign it to this new mouth. This will be her regular open mouth. To save some space, I'll delete some parts that will be unnecessary. Then I'll move the mesh behind her mouth. Now I need to create a flex. To make this the flex that opens her mouth, this will be called jaw underscore drop. With the flex selected, I'll move the open mouth mesh out in front of her face. There's the talking mouth. Now I want Anka to have that bigger open mouth texture as well. So I'll do the same thing. Copy a mouth mesh, create a new material, assign it to the new material, move it behind both Anka's face and her open mouth, and with the jaw drop flex selected, I'll move it in front of the talking mouth, and there's her shouting mouth. Oh, I almost forgot about her blinking. Just like the mouth, I'll first copy the face. Then I'll make a new blink material and assign it. I'll delete the unnecessary polygons, then I'll move it behind her head. Now I need to make another flex, and it should be called Blink. After making it, I'll select the new flex, move the closed eyelid mesh in front of Anka, and there's her new blinking animation. Now, I'm using DMX to explore Anka. Because of this, the jaw underscore drop will be seen as a corrective flex instead of a regular flex. So I'll need to rename it into a single word like mouth, then 
re-rename it outside. There's probably a better way of renaming the flexes, but I'm still learning DMX. If you're new to this, I recommend using SMD for now. Input the following in your QC file for the facials to load. Now the reason why you should do the eyes first is because, well... The new vertices don't know where to go at all. They just move to the center of Antka's origin. The only way to fix this is to delete the flexes and remake them. Anyway, my first compile's a little... strange. I'll have to edit the values for the eyes. Here, it's just me needing to increase the eyes' size and their Y position. The facials work like a charm, though. However, this is just the main skin. Still need to add the puked materials in the texture group. Yes, you can indeed have your eye materials change when a boomer pukes on you. I'll just make the eyes and face go invisible while the puked materials become visible. I know I mentioned this before, but to be more clear, Anka's shocked eyes and shocked face will first have their materials simply load in a small, blank, transparent texture. Then, when the boomer's puked materials are called in, or the underscore it versions, the regular eyes and face will use the transparent texture, and the shocked materials will load in with their respective textures. Basically, we're flip-flopping between one face is on and the other face is off. And with that, the puke textures load in properly. I'm even free to edit the Z values for the puke eyes to match how Anka's eyes look when she's shocked. And you know what? I'm going to add one more thing for her. I'm going to give her another mouth, but this will be for the flex. I think you get the idea on what to do, but in short, copy mouth, give it a new material, assign it, place it behind the face, make flex, call it bite. Select the flex, move the bite in front of Anka's mouth, boom, done. Here's what you'll need to add in the QC file for the bite flex. With that, Antka now has eye tracking and facial animations. But there's still one last thing to do. When you're far away from Antka, some of her mouths will start to bleed through her head. To fix this, we'll need to basically disable the facials, but only when she's at a distance. Here's where LODs come into play. For the LODs, we can use the Remove Mesh option to delete the mouths when she's far away from the player. The remove mesh requires the full path to where our unwanted materials are. Here I am, adding in some final tweaks. I'm optimizing the LODs by removing the jiggle bones at further distances, making the LODs more readable in general, tweaking the eyes a little more. I even made the furthest LOD change the eyes' materials back into the regular ones, since the eye shader is a bit expensive. With all that done, it's now finally time to test her out in game. The blinking works, but it appears and disappears a bit too fast. That can be changed via repositioning of the blink mesh. A tip to those with the blinking. It's best to have the blinking appear at around a value of 70%, because survivors will squint when they're injured. You don't want them to have their eyes constantly closed because they're limping. No problem. The mouth flexes work and the puke textures load in properly. Yes. Yeah. Let's go, people! I'm with you. If your eyes' edges appear glitchy, go back in Blender, select everything in Edit Mode, and select Face, Triangulate Faces. That should fix the issue. It's just you and me left! After applying the final tweaks, she's able to blink, she's able to talk, her puke textures work, and her eye materials change. Yeah, she's done. Everyone locked and loaded. Roger, thank you, Marty. I hope this was somewhat entertaining, and yeah, it's a bit hacky, but hey, learn something new, hopefully. Well, that's all I have for now. Have a good day, and good luck modding.
the job. Uh.